Welcome to this presentation. Agenda here is column flipping and layout. Okay. In our previous section, we have already done the we are already done with the discussion related to pump piping and its layout. Okay. We have dis discussed all these uh, definitions. Okay. All the components required for pump construction and discharge, layout aspects of pump piping, stress constitution, then few snaps. Then we had a small discussion on seal plans. Now let us start discussion on column piping and layout. In this section, we will try to cover all these points. Okay. Distillation operation, we will try to understand how a column uh, works. Then what are the various inputs required to start our column layout. Then we will have a look at typical column layout and how the BTL elevation is decided. Then we will try to understand column internals tray arrangement and different passes. Then uh, we'll try to understand all the nozzles and its behavior, its connection with piping and how the orientation of individual nozzle, nozzle should be there. So we'll try to cover all these things in nozzle orientation art. Then we'll try to understand how ladders and platforms should be arranged to complete the column layout. The column piping concepts we will try to understand then few supporting and flexibility requirements will discuss then operation and maintenance requirements shall be covered in this part we will try to cover distillation operation how a column works so in these uh, slides we will try to understand how this column is working okay let us start with the inlet its feed is entering from the middle of the column and whatever components are uh, there inside the feed, we have to separate. That is the purpose of this column. Okay, so and this feed can be in the form of cold liquid or it can be a superheated vapor. So whatever is entering, we'll try to break it into different different components at each uh, temperature and uh, pressure stages and we'll separate it from the column. That will be the output. Okay, this kind of outputs will be there. So that is our ultimate goal to get these products from this feed. Now let us understand what is happening once this feed is entering into the column. Now liquid and vapor are in counter current contact throughout the column. Okay, This is the basis uh, of separating all the components from feed. Liquid and vapor, they are counter current contact throughout the column. Okay, Vapors are going up, liquid is going down. They are uh, in touch throughout the column and the required uh, components will be separated at each distillation stage some of the vapor moving up okay some of the vapors which are moving up are condensed and this is in turn evaporates some of the liquid okay when hot vapors are moving up and liquid is moving down they come in contact some part of the vapor will convert into condensate and some of the condensate will be converted into vapor so this is the whole process which is continuously going inside the column okay and this is the basis of separating all these components at different stages if there are two components in the feed then a greater amount of less volatile component will condense it at each stage okay so less volatile components will start getting condensed at each stage of the process and greater amount of the more volatile component will evaporate and it will go in the upper section of the column. Okay, so counter, counter current contact, vapor and condensate. Condensate will convert into vapor and vapor will convert into condensate. Condensate will start accumulating here, vapors will start accumulating here and they will start interacting with each other. So this is the basic of a distillation column. Now try to, let us try to understand uh, rectifying section okay. so one is rectifying section another is stripping section now as we have discussed rectifying section is the name given to the stages above the feed point feed is entering here whatever portion of the column is above this point that is called rectifying section and whatever is the whatever is the portion below this point is called stripping section what is happening in rectifying section the concentration of more volatile components increases in this part more volatile component will be more 
okay and here less volatile components will be present the stripping section is the name given to the stages below feed point where the concentration of the more volatile component decreases more volatile component will be decreased here and they will start accumulating here and lesser volatile component will be concentrated in this section so we have divided into two parts rectifying and stripping lesser volatile more volatile components now let us see how this rectifying and stripping section uh, giving the outputs okay if you see here let us start uh, this overhead vapor uh, let us start understanding what is overhead vapor overhead vapor containing the most volatile components from the feed okay this portion is having most volatile components and it will go out this will be uh, having higher temperature and we will condense we will uh, pass it through condenser okay most of the cases these are the air coolers which we keep it at uh, top tier of pipe rack in this heat exchanger cooling water is used to condensate the vapor now what is happening this hot vapor is passing through this condenser and cooling water is going inside and going coming out what is what it is doing it is decreasing the temperature of this vapor which is at very high temperature so what is happening here uh, this overhead vapor will be divided into two parts one is coming back to no another is going out anyhow first let us understand what a condenser is doing it is cooling the overhead vapor that is the main agenda similarly what is happening here once it is cooled by condenser it will could uh, some part will be coming back to column and some part will be uh, coming out from this system which will be used uh, which is which is called overhead product okay so we are getting first product from the column that is uh, one of the component of feed that we have separated now what is happening once this reflux is coming back to the column the liquid from the condenser is split into two parts the reflux is fed back to the column where it moves down the column in counter current flow with the vapor flowing up okay the cooled reflux is entering back into the column and it is coming in contact with the vapor coming up and again that uh, counter current uh, process is followed again this is this will be evaporated vapors will be condensed and the same process will start here the overhead product contains liquid with the composition specified in the design of the column okay so this will be one of the product which we have extracted from this feed now the ratio of reflux flow to the overhead product if we take this amount and take this amount and we divide it reflux by overhead product that is called reflux ratio and is an important parameter in the design and operation of any distillation column okay so our main agenda was to get this product which we have uh, extracted from this okay, so this was all about uh, upper part of uh, column how things are uh, moving around okay so let us uh, discuss what is happening in the stripping section here so this section as we have already discussed it will be having least volatile components okay then this will pass through this reboiler where we are heating this liquid through steam okay steam will be passed through it to heat the bottom liquid now again similar process will happen this will go back and one product will come out if you see steam is coming in vapor is coming back to column and the product is going out this is called bottom product okay so this is a, another agenda what we have to achieve so let us understand what is there bottom liquid containing the least volatile component in the feed flows from the base of the column to the reboiler okay this is going and entering the reboiler in this heat exchanger steam is used to vaporize some of the liquid which flows back to the column in the counter flow with the liquid moving down the column the amount of heat fed to the reboiler determines the vapor flow up the column okay so again in this section if you see this liquid is coming out vapors are coming in again liquid and 
vapor will be in counter flow current. The same process will happen and uh, the liquid and vapor will start extract, extracting from each other. Okay, the bottom product has a specific composition fixed during the design of the column and is second product of the stream from the distillation column. So this is the basic this all is the basic concept how we are getting the overhead product and how we are getting the bottom product. We are using condenser here to get the overhead product and we are using here reboiler to get the bottom products. Okay, so this was all about uh, rectifying section and stripping section and what, in, what is happening inside the column during the distillation process. So we have just completed a discussion on distillation operation, how column is uh, working and how the feed is uh, divided into different components and how those components are extracted from the column. So now in second part, we'll try to discuss input required to start our column layout. Then typical layout, we'll have a discussion on uh, plan view and elevation views. Then we'll try to discuss how the bottom tangent elevation is decided for a column. Okay. So I hope you are enjoying the video. See you in the next part.